This is live, a live draw, by the way. Don't forget, it's a live draw. Scene one, take one. Okay, let's begin. If you want to delve in there, Sam, and pull your first ball out. 76. Okay, 76. 76, that is Clubfiller. DJ from Liverpool plays hardcore and hard dance. You used to have a dog called Michael, which died of old age in 1998. So a bit of info for you there, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to be a hard one. Uh, that's Dave Pierce, the man that gave us BBC One's radios ones. <laughs> Do it again. That's Dave Pierce. Where? <laughs> Where? Liar. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> Can't say it again. Come on. Originally spawned from the Wright brothers, Guyver has become very popular with disabled farmers and retired PE teachers, apparently. Disabled farmers. <laughs> Why disabled farmers? I know. It's a bit uh, random. <laughs> Have you ever seen one? <laughs> Do you want to carry on? It's Andy to pull. It's Andy to pull the ball out. 62, that's the Squatters, one of the biggest acts in the Electro. Mm -hmm. Don't you tut at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, 51, Andy Whitby, you're gonna be very pleased about this. You're safe, you're playing at the Weekender. Now, Andy will be debuting his new hard live act exclusively at the Ideal Weekender. Now, he was once caught kissing his own penis on the top deck of a bus, and his favorite shoe size is eight, the eight black lace-up. <laughs> Why do you make it so complicated? Well, leave the just finish on bus bit. Don't mention oh, well. the shoes, please. Yeah, sorry, Andy. It's that. We're we doing it again, or is it? Yeah. yeah. Now this is something that's never been done before. We've put a hundred DJs in one big ball box. I'd like to call is it. it a ball box. It's, it's <laughs> not a ball bag. It's a. <laughs> it's a ball. We've got to start again. <laughs> <laughs> we did well then. I was like, should be a bad start. <laughs> I won't mention it. What am I going to call it? <laughs> what am I going to call it? 64, you say. 64 is Paul Webster. Now, if Trance was his middle name. <laughs> I knew this one would get me. I, I knew this one would get me because it's my me, me favourite. But it's not funny. Uh, 64 is Paul Webster. <laughs> Sixty-four is uh, Paul Webster. Now, if Trance was his middle name, <laughs> he'd be called Paul Trance Webster. Quite literally, that's what he'd be called. So there's the lineup. A hundred DJs uh, were in the box. Seventy came out, and uh, I'm pleased, very pleased with the lineup. So get your tickets. We'll see you here in April. Tidy weekend. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, right, well, when we're actually on site and you're on stage on the mic, you need to I be know. careful. Yeah. That's going to be. Uh, okay, from top. And don't say it's my fault. <laughs> because they'll moan at me that I've taken the bounce out of the weekend. From so the don't, top again. Don't say it's me. Okay. Do you want to do the Lisa pin up thing? That's. <laughs> Why don't you do a different one? I... That's Why don't you come back to Dave? I can't say his name now. Just his name makes me laugh when I say it. <laughs> so it's saying, laugh when you say Dave Pierce. <laughs> The yeah, the foot's the foot's yeah. close. Yeah. Move, no, move away from the mic. Right, come on. That's Dave Pierce, the man that gave us a BBC One radio. Not bad. Yeah, are we rolling? Yeah. Action. Yeah. Lisa, I know, I'm sorry. I know. Oh, look, Rachel Orban was in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. Gotta keep that in. Yeah, it's a good line. <laughs> right, let's do it again. <laughs> Okay, camera's rolling, and action. Uh, oh, that's good news. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> Why is it good news? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this, this bit is funnier <laughs> than the actual show. <laughs> ah! 